Are you with me? Or are you with Monet? All right, I'm never, I'm never going against my mother. I ain't taking no shots at Norma with my son standing next to her. No, man, let's get this over with you. Wait, wait, wait. What's up, Power Fans and YouTube? It's your boy Dino, and I'm back with another Power video. And of course, if you are new to my channel, you're welcome. Kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Episode 9 is out, and it's sad to think that Power Book 2 Ghost is coming to an end, and we have just one episode left. Yes, it's very upsetting. What a way for Monet to go out. Trust me, say whatever you want to say about Monet Tahara not being a good mother and selfish, but she went out protecting her kids. Trap. Trap. Those are my kids. I'm not gonna let that bitch get to them. She went out like a real G and Kane's emotion at the last five minutes was everything epic and heartbreaking to watch. And I believe most of you felt the same way, especially how Kane was crying helplessly on the floor looking at his dying mother. Wait, wait, wait. I think Lorenzo and Mecca should be proud of Monet despite everything that happened. She stick to the family first freeze till the end. And trust me, this is an epic way for a drug dealer like Monet to go out. Very legendary, but I don't know how Omari who played Ghost will feel about this. Why do I say so? I remember Omari was pitching the same idea or similar idea to Courtney Kem on how he wanted to go out, where Tommy find himself in a situation like this and he goes save Tommy by dying to save him. But then I don't want to assume that the way Monet died was inspired by Omari's theory on how Ghost should have died. I miss most the opportunity to take the story to where I thought it could be taken in terms of the ending, giving the fans what I thought they deserved, which was the right and more appropriate ending. Having said that, well, I'm not saying Ghost is actually dead because I've been an advocate since the one that Ghost is still alive. We still have one episode left. You may never know. You may just never know. But anyways, let me know what you also think or feel in the comment section on the final scene and how Monet went out. Now, if you haven't watched my last video on episode 8, I did say some things that happened in episode 9, like having Norman's family present at the wedding, the fact that we'll see African dressings, and also for the fact that Tariq was helping Monet fake her death like he helped Tommy fake his death, and not at war with Monet as some people speculated. I also mentioned that Carter will have to enter a different booth this time, that is why Tariq couldn't shoot him from where he sat. Now, if you haven't seen my last video yet, do check out that video after this one. I'll leave the link in the description below. Now, to summarize episode 9, Norma and Carter set Tariq and Monet up to be killed by the Russians. Unfortunately, their plan didn't work, so Monet and Tariq decided to act dead. What well, fuck if they think we dead? Let's be dead! They now decided to take Carter and Norma out and that also failed, leaving Monet dead at the end and Carter still tied up to a chair. Question is, could things have gone a bit differently or everything just have to happen this way? And like I said in my last video, Monet will not like any of her kids' heads, so taking Norma and Carter out must be done with both Drew and Kane aligned with the plan, else she'll end up losing either or both of them. I ain't taking no shots at Norma with my son standing next to her. Now, do you think Kane knowing the plan would have changed anything Considering how constantly Monet was trying to make him see what he was getting himself into. I still can't believe you're about to marry this uppity bitch. Let me know your thoughts as well in the comment section below. But I would say Kane would have still been Kane, thinking he had everything under control. In the episode, we saw Monet trying her last card to convince Kane, but Kane was Kane. And I blame Monet in a way for that. Why? Because she made her kids to second guess her all the time because of her mistakes and her own selfish interests. So even when she was right and trying to protect her kids, they refused to see any sense in all she was saying. She's only making you feel good because you got something she wants. Nah, man. That's how you roll. They end up thinking their mother was doing her self-interest things again. That is why Kane said, Nah, just Monet being Monet. Now, it would have been different if Kane knew about the car explosion and Norma setting his mother up to die. That would have made Kane at least to be prepared mentally other than being taken by surprise. Then again, the question is, what would Kane have done even if he knew Norma's plot against his mother considering her tight security 
and her brother Chinedu. I think Kay Noe would have caused his death instead of Monet and I think the writers don't want another son to die for Monet so they have to kill her instead and make her look like the heroine at the end of the day. Trust me, it was sad looking at Monet go out like that in front of her children, especially King. But it was the best way to eliminate a character that was conned by all her children for putting them in this game in the first place. But indeed, family first is the way to go and Kane had demonstrated unapologetically that he has to put his family first. Monet might have gone out beautifully as the hero among power mothers, but Kane was the hero of this entire episode. Without knowing if his mother even had his back and coming to rescue him, he didn't hesitate or try to play smart to survive with Norma. He went all out with all honesty that he can't go against his mother. Are you with me or are you with Monet? All right, I'm never, I'm never going against my mother. And I must say, whoever wrote or directed this episode deserves all the flowers in the world, same as Woody who played Kane. Now let's talk about the church incident. Now, the turn of event got me thinking about whether or not Effie and Braden cleared a clip from the church before running after Carter. If not, then there will be a lot of problem there for Tariq as an evidence of him trying to take out a police officer who came to the place to worship out. Let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Now, with the last episode remaining, who is winning the war? Is it Norma and Carter? or Tariq and the remaining Tahares. Drop your thoughts, theories in the comment section below. Let's discuss. It was an amazing episode, by the way, especially to see stars pay tribute to African culture, not only with costume, but using Afro beat music, as well as the scene where most Africans can relate to, especially during marriage ceremonies. Yes, throwing money on a bride and a groom is a typical thing in African culture. Let me know what you also think in the comment section below. Do expect my next video on the finale and what to expect in the finale. Whether or not the long-awaiting ghost is going to pop up or Tommy is going to come to Tariq's rescue, I'll be bringing you all those breakdowns very soon. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, share, most importantly, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching. But at the end of the day, we family. First, forever.